nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Michael Voss, the Dragon of the Southern Tier, your host here at the No Sound Bites Allowed podcast. I'm very happy to be here with everyone. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. And I want to start off with mentioning that I appreciate each and every one of you. I, I whoops, there it goes. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys make it all worthwhile. That's why I'm here. That's why I do this. So I thank you all for being with me. Now, today's an interesting day. Uh, again, going to be on the timer as always. This is going to be a very um, brief conversation just to get it all out there. I know everyone's returning from home, uh, excuse me, returning home from work. And so we won't take up too much time. Uh, I want you to enjoy. But I want to mention today in New York State, Governor Andrew Cuomo came out and he made a state of the state announcement. It was something that was very impressive and very look, uh, well, it was uh, very sought after. A lot of people have interest in it because it gives a bit of an indication of what's going to be happening in the 2020 election. Um, Governor Cuomo still remains one of the front runners and one of the most mentioned names of any of the candidates that will probably be running for Congress excuse me, for the presidency in 2020, and along with state senator, uh, senator Kirsten Gillibrand. Wow, I'm just tongue-tied today. Got to bear with me there. So, um, so it was very interesting to see what Governor Cuomo would be talking about. What are the issues that he's speaking about here in New York as New York is one of the leading progressive uh, states in the nation? And a lot of the 2020 race looks to be a progressive ideology. Uh, the message of the progressives to the rest of the nation, that's what it seems that the Democratic Party is going with. And we're seeing that a lot with uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and many others. So we have to ask the question, what, what's going to happen? So what did Governor Cuomo say? Well, it was real interesting because Governor Cuomo started off... One of the key things that he was talking about, green energy, the Green Deal. Alexandria Ocasio's court, uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her Green Deal message. So we're seeing that's going to be implemented in New York State, which means it's going to be implemented everywhere. And we, anyone who follows this at all knows that this is not what we would consider a good deal. This is bad news. Uh, this is... A, to give people an idea of what we're talking about here, the Green Deal is about $1.3 trillion on a national level. It is impossible to implement. It, is, it requires a redoing. And even on the state level, you have to rebuild the entire electrical grid. You have to go into each and every home in the state or in the nation and rewire them and set up, uh, whether it be solar collectors or water collectors, you have to put that in. This is a massive increase in spending that New York State cannot afford. We're talking about roughly $100 million in spending for the state that just doesn't exist, which means taxes have to go up, which means, again, part of the reason why over the last uh, nine years we've seen about 1.5 million people leave New York State is because it's too expensive. The taxes are too high to try and pay for all of these progressive ideas that don't pay off. And we're looking at one more coming in, which will push out more of the middle class, more of the uh, top earners in New York State into other states. And on a national level, well, that just means that every business will see businesses, again, just like under uh, President Obama, leave the United States, take their capital off uh, overseas, offshore, and we will see unemployment rates rise up as businesses shut down because they can't afford this ideology, this wonderful giveaway, uh, which is actually irrelevant because it doesn't work. Nowhere in the world is there a single nation that runs on nothing but renewable energy because it is not efficient and it doesn't work. Um, 
maybe one day in the future it will, but it doesn't today. And that's just a fact. So that's one of the things that Governor Cuomo was talking about, and that's what it means for 2020. So one of the things we see in the 2020 presidential race is the fact that they're going to be a massive push towards green energy, renewable energy that is unaffordable and impossible to implement at this time. One of the other big things, we're seeing a push against anyone who has a gun. Uh, if you are a firearm owner, we are looking at brand new laws that are meant to strip away, to deny young children, 12-year-olds, from being able to learn about gun safety. We're seeing legislation that's being put out there to try and stop, uh, well, excuse me, in, to allow a national red flag legislation that would allow almost anyone uh, to be able to say, that you need to have your firearms removed from your home to come in without you ever committing a crime and take have the government take away your firearms and also take away your children as a consequence of this because of the danger of your home uh, just because someone said so. That's a dangerous policy. We also see that Governor Cuomo is doubling down and following up on the ideology that we should have uh, that for you to have a firearm you should be able to give the government all of your privacy records, your social media records, which he agrees with and he's willing to do. This is another progressive idea, some way, a way to disincentivize someone to exercise their Second Amendment rights. They're not taking it away from you. They're just preventing you from being able to exercise their rights. Another way they want to do that is another bill that's being done in New York State that, again, the progressives and Governor Cuomo seems to be all on board for is to add an insurance policy. So if you want to own a firearm, you now have to be insured uh, for millions of dollars of liability insurance, which adds to the cost. And this is a cost that comes out of your pocket that you may not have. Now, that doesn't matter that these are all bills that are targeted towards law abiding citizens. 99.999% of everyone in the nation who owns a firearm, 160 million people, they are all being oppressed. And this idea is meant simply to say that if you have a firearm, we want to get rid of it or we want you to pre uh, prevent you from getting one in the future because you can't afford it. It is just an economic bar to exercising your rights that no other right has been treated like. That's important. And I think that's a, and that's a statement that we're saying, a move to the progressive left, the furthest left wing, not a Democratic Party, which would be moderates, but no, the furthest wing, the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wing of the party, the Bernie Sanders wing of the Democratic Party. That's what 2020 is working out to. And this is going to be followed up. And remember, if you're thinking that this is a great idea, fantastic for you, but the the actual numbers show that New York State is 50th in business friendliness. That's what uh, Governor Cuomo 2020 would mean for the United States. Economic despair. Business is shutting down. That's what's happening in New York State. And that's it. We're looking at casinos that have failed. An idea that that was their wonder can. It was a gift. It'll create billions of dollars of revenue. In fact, they are failing. Their creditworthiness is gone. They need public bailouts because it's a bad economic policy run because the progressive policies don't work. But yet they are doubling down on this in 2019, which means 2020, this will be the focus. Uh, we also heard, and one of the most troubling things, and I'll finish with this thought because we're just doing this a, a short wrap up of what happened. Governor Cuomo said one of the most important things, I think, for anyone in New York State and also for anyone that is uh, anywhere in the nation for the 2020 election and so forth. And I want to think about this. Governor Cuomo said, quote, the time for talking is over. The time for doing is now. Now, what, what he's saying there in that statement that he made in the uh, state of the state announcement today is Governor Cuomo is saying that because one party has control over all of the government in New York State, they don't have to compromise. Bipartisanship doesn't matter. This is all about, regardless of what the public thinks, this is about shoving these ideas down your throat. Now, I was talking a little bit about this uh, on my website 
and we're talking a little bit about the Second Amendment aspect of it, but, and you can go to my Twitter page and you'll see many of my comments as the governor was speaking and some of the things that we said about there at the at MV Consult uh, uh, Twitter page. But essentially, when we hear someone, a politician who wants to run for president, who is coming out and saying that bipartisanship is dead, compromise is dead, this is what we're seeing on the border right now. The whole argument about the border, which is $5 billion, it's nothing. It's a non-existent number. But yet, we're seeing that the Democratic Party, Nancy, uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi and uh, State Senator, excuse me, Senator Chuck Schumer are unwilling to compromise, unwilling to speak about this. It, it, no bipartisanship. It's all or nothing. This is what the 2020 race is going to be about. It's all or nothing. It is the furthest left ideology, the socialism ideology of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and um, Senator Bernie Sanders or nothing. And that is a troubling, troubling thought. In fact, if we were to have a newsflash. 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 I like my sound effects. If there is a news flash to be taken from the state of the state uh, announcement by Governor Cuomo in 2019, it is that the 2020 race, the, the uh, goal of the Democratic Party is absolute submission by everyone else. They are looking for everyone, conservatives, Republicans, libertarians, anyone, even moderate Democrats, anyone who does not fall in line with the ideology of the furthest left of the progressive party will be stomped on, for lack of a better word, that you will be either pushed out economically, you will be disadvantaged, you will be disencouraged, and you will be disenfranchised, because that is the goal. It is to silence anyone else with any other thought. And we see this a lot, and this is not just isolated to politics. We see this with Google. We see this with Twitter. We see this with Facebook. Each and every one of them in 2018 admitted that they have programs actively ongoing that are suppressing conservative and Republican thought, any thought that is not PC or part of the socialist democratic viewpoint. That tells you a lot. We're, we're seeing an environment where people are told you cannot think you cannot speak. All you can do is follow the lead of those who have declared themselves leaders, no matter where that goes, no matter how devastating that is. And remember, if New York State fails, this is part of a program. The summer of 2018, Bill Maher said it best. They want there to be economic turmoil. They want America to fail. They want there to be a recession so that they can blame it on President Trump in 2020 and therefore get a political gain. We're seeing that Governor Cuomo is reiterating that same ideology, spending more than, than New York can possibly make, taxing at the highest limits the individuals, the middle class, and the top of New York State, destroying their wealth and driving them out of the state because that works to help them get their political gain. And everything is blamed on the Republicans if it doesn't work eventually as it doesn't. This is a very important theory, uh, viewpoint. And this is my reaction to what Governor Cuomo had to say. You may disagree. You may think, Mike, you missed some of the important elements. Maybe you believe that when Governor Cuomo says the time for action is over, that he means that we're going to be more bipartisan as a nation, that somehow that means we're going to have more conversation with the different parts of the government. And if you believe that, that's fantastic. Please explain to me how that is the case. I want to hear it. I want to hear that argument that says that Governor Cuomo is looking to be more inclusive rather than being more exclusive, because I don't see it. But maybe you do. Let's have that conversation. Reach out here on YouTube. Reach out to Facebook. Or you can reach out to the uh, uh, our podcast, which is the audio version of this, and contact us there or on Facebook. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think the 2020, what does the 2019 New York State 
of the state announcement by Governor Cuomo mean for the 2020 race for gun owners? What does it mean economically, both in New York State and for the rest of the nation, and for those who believe in the green energy, renewable energy idea, uh, ideology, and most especially for those who are progressives and socialist Democrats? How do you feel about this? Well, that's all I have for today. I thank you for joining me here in this episode of No Sound Bites Allowed. I always absolutely appreciate each and every one of you for being here with us. You guys make it all worthwhile. I thank you. I hope everyone's going to have a great dinner, have a great evening, and I look forward to speaking with you all again very, very soon. Thank you.